Okay, now you can also use pedigrees to figure out genotypes. So here's how you do this. First, you look at the pedigree and you see if it's a dominant or recessive trait. The purple people in this uh, pedigree are the ones who are affected. So we have somebody present in every uh, generation that is colored in. So this means this is a dominant trait. So what we do is we are going to say that anybody who's colored in has at least one capital A in their genotype. Do we know what the second letter is? No, not quite yet. So here's how we figure this out. If you're not colored in, you're obviously recessive. So these guys are two lowercase a's. So these guys are easy. Okay, now the next thing is you look at the kids to try and figure out what the genotypes are going to be. So we look at all the kids that are produced from George and Arlene. So we have the fact that, um, well, actually, you know what, let's just do opponent square. So with George and Arlene, they have two affected kids, generation 2-2 two, two, and generation 2-4. But generation 2-5 is not affected. Now for them to not be affected, they had to get a recessive allele from dad and mom. So if mom's affected, because she's colored in, but she has a kid who's not affected, that means that her second allele has to be recessive. And then the dominant is responsible for the other two kids because they're shaded in. So she has to be this. Now we can infer that these guys, since they didn't get a two capital A's, from, they didn't get a second capital A from the other parent, they have to be the same thing. Now, if we look at Ann and Michael, and they have Carla over here. So Ann is unaffected, Michael is affected, and they have Carla. So we don't know, because they only had one kid, whether or not Michael is heterozygous or homozygous dominant, if he's two different letters or if he's two capital A's. So what we have to decide is we just put both. So he's either this or this. We also don't have Michael's parents to help us figure out what he could be. So then, and that happens sometimes where you, you can't tell which or which, but you, you've you narrowed it down to two out of three possibilities, which is what matters. So here is, um, we can actually figure out what Alan is, okay? So Alan, we have his parents. We have Tom and Sandra. And Tom doesn't have two capital A's. He's only got one. So if you can't have two capital A's between both parents, you have to be heterozygous. Because Alan got his capital A from Tom, he can't get a capital A from Sandra because she doesn't have one. So that means that these guys together are going to make Christopher, and Christopher has to also be heterozygous. Because, again, he can get this capital A from Dad, but Mom has nothing like a capital A to give him. All right, so this is dominant because it's present in every generation, and we've just done the genotypes. And then here, we're able to check our answers. So now for Michael, they this key does show that he is like one genotype. But again, we don't know that. We don't know if he is heterozygous or homozygous. So this option is correct, but there's also a possibility that he could be uh, homozygous dominant. They would have to have more kids, or we'd have to have Michael's parents to figure that out.